These conversations are hugely uh, important in the months to come. Um, it is more um, important than ever to look at Africa and climate finance. As we've heard, Africa uh, faces many challenges, but also offers many opportunities. What is clear is that Africa will play an essential uh, role in combating global um, warming um, and global climate change. Africa not, on, is, not only needs the world uh, to help mitigate the worst effects, um, but the world needs Africa also if it wishes uh, to combat climate change. Um, it is more important than ever uh, to have Africa treated as an equal partner too. Uh, and hopefully that will happen at COP27 uh, on the African continent in November. Of course, uh, thank you um, uh, to our wonderful uh, panel, uh, Mrs. Ian Adams, um, Jeffrey Grilla, of course, uh, Mrs. Quinn, uh, Quinn and uh, Mr. Anthony Simpaza for their valuable and insightful in input. Also, a thank you to Mr. Bakelman and Mr. Steer, not only for their visions, but also for demonstrating uh, the wide array of uh, potential that Africa has in the global effort um, in combating climate change. Of course, we are also thank thankful um, to the African Development Bank, uh, Professor Urama, um, merely um, uh, touch on the key points of this important report. So please go glance uh, at the whole version. It is on our website and the African Development Bank has many tools on there uh, to explore the report in greater detail. We hosted this event in the framework of our um, inclusive Africa climate uh, program and we want to imp amplify uh, that work being done in Africa and by African leaders on climate change. Um, so please stay tuned um, for more events like this. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.